everybody, I'm here going to be talking about metabolic bone disease. Now, you may see the abbreviation is called MBD, and we're going to talk about what it is, um, what happens, and everything like that. So, here's one of our girls. She has metabolic bone disease. Um, so, she may look like a normal bit of dragon to you. Uh, she has a hard time moving around, believe it or not, and I will post that video right now. So, why did that happen? Well, she could have had no UVB or she could have had just very little. Um, so, when you look at her, her arms constantly like to go in, they can't just go out, and she can't hold up on them so she can't put you know like stand up on it um so she has a hard time moving around she crawls and if you look at her she may be hard to tell but her bones are indented right there which is not not normal um for a bearded dragon like that it's hard to tell on video but her spine's all messed up all she's not shaped right uh she can't move right she can't grip that good see this is what she does and in her cage she likes to army crawl now her depth perception is also off, so I have to help her eat food, um, because she can't just, you know, if she, you put a bug right there, she can't reach right, so it takes a few times, and then she may eventually get it, um, but she can't climb on things like a normal bearded dragon, she can't move like a bearded dragon, she can't hunt like a bearded dragon, just because, you know, put crickets in there, she may have a hard time running after them and getting them, because it takes a lot of energy, because she walks like this, um, it's probably not comfortable as well. So that is what happens when you don't have right UVB or right, um, or none at all. Um, it affects all of them differently. Some could take months, some could take years. It really just depends on the situation. Um, so the different signs you could see is kinked tails, you know, kinked like bumps in the back, um, a lower jaw protruding, so basically like an underbite, um, hourglass figure uh, head. Um, no teeth, um, a bunch of different things, the arms, you know, the feet curled, um, that's what, that's what can happen, and it does it all differently, I've had cases even worse than hers, but she can no longer be a normal bearded dragon and just go hunt like the rest, or just get warm like the rest, so she has to have it basically made specifically for her, to where she can get warm, and be able to easily get away from the other side if she needs to, to get away from, you know, the heat and stuff like that. So the top two brands that have you know, had a lot of research done is Arcadia and Repti Sun. Those two are the best. T5, which means the size of the bulb. There's T8 or T5. Um, T5 is, you know, smaller where T8 is bigger, um, but it will say it on the box. Um, so T5, 2 BBB is the best. Now, those two brands usually last around, they say up to 12 months, but I usually toss mine around 10 months to 11 months, although we do have a solar meter, which is around $300, uh, will tell you, you know, the numbers, like the readings on, you know, if it's giving off anything at all, so we do check that, but for a person who don't have one, it's going to uh, toss it around every 10 months to 11 months, because with UVBs, a lot of people don't know that it can give off light, but no UVB, and it's the whole time you may not be having UVB for your bearded dragon like you think you are, just because the light's on, so that can matter as well, um, Metabolic bone disease can also stunt their growth, so when you not offer for a little bearded dragon, it can stunt them for a while, it may stunt them forever, um, or it really, see, that's the thing, it really just depends on, like, the age, um, the, you know, the strength, whether you have UVB or not, so basically the main thing is making sure you have the right UVB. So, metabolic bone disease is not reversible. So once they're stuck in a certain way, it won't change even if you have the right UVB. But it's good to get one because you can stop it from getting worse. But it's not fixable. So once you do this to a bearded dragon, if you don't have the right lighting, once it happens, you know, it's, it's too late to go back. So it's very, very important because some people don't know. Like my other video before, people get their bearded dragon. Uh, bearded dragons 
different places, get different information, but it's, you know, becoming more and more and more serious, more popular. People are finding out what is causing this, you know, deformity, beard dragging, metabolic, metabolic bone disease. Um, you also always want to make sure that you, you know, have good lighting. That's the most important thing you can offer uh, for beard dragons because they're not in the sun. They're not out in their nature. So we have to provide that lighting in, you know, for them in captivity. So that's the best thing to do. Um, they need their UVB. I mean, it's extremely important. If they don't have their UVB, they're 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 just gonna they're just gonna be in pain. It can lead to paralysis. Different, you know, just different parts of the body just not working right, deformed. Um, a lot of times they can you know mess up back here to the point where like they can't no longer move their legs. Um, they're weak. Also, it's it's you know it's pretty serious it's very very important that you know you check on that and we do have a couple groups that are great to reach out to um called beer dragon help and advice or dragon smart and on our website see, she has she has a hard time i know Cecilia, she can't move her hands out see how it's curled like that i'm a baby okay i know honey um it's it's pretty rough for them and she's so sweet she is so 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 sweet but if you go on dragonsmart3ts.com on our website and go under UVB lighting, we have a quiz that will basically ask you for information, um, and it will tell you at the end what kind of UVB lighting you need. We also usually have that in stock on our website, um, but it will tell you which ones you need. Very, very important. I re would recommend to take that quiz. Um, yeah, metabolic bone disease, short for MBD, is very, very common here um, with them being in captivity now. That's the one thing that... You know they struggle with because they may not have the right just the right equipment uvb is just the most important thing you probably could offer for them um but if you have any more questions on any of that i would love to help you just reach out to our groups facebook page you know message message our facebook page will definitely help you with lighting we have no problem with that that's something that we actually actually would love to help on because we know that it's very common here and we're just wanting to do better. We want to do better since they're becoming more popular pets. So please check your UVBs. Please reach out if you need to. And I hope this video did help you. And hope you guys have a great day. Like and subscribe. We will have more videos coming up. Really good ones. So see you then.